Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome to episode three of Booking and Cooking, where today we are making zucchini bread, which I have only had once and it was really good, so I'm hoping that it turns out the same way. If you don't know what zucchini bread is, picture like banana bread, but minus the bananas plus zucchini. It's like a, it's just like a loaf of like cinnamony chocolate if you add it in bread. I'm trying to eat a little bit better, like healthier-ish, and I knew that I wanted to keep doing this series, so I tried to pick a healthy-ish recipe that I could like maybe eat a slice of zucchini bread in the morning and not feel horrible about myself. So that's that's why we're doing this. Also, I decided to go ahead and rep my Hamilton shirt from 2016, clearly, because it's July 4th currently when I'm filming this, and although I don't care about the 4th of July, I do care that Hamilton came out on Disney Plus yesterday, so if you've watched it, let me know in the comments below. I watched it once with my mom. Oh my god. I watched it once with my mom yesterday, and we told ourselves we weren't gonna sing through it, and we didn't, and it was amazing, and we're gonna watch it again today and actually like sing through the whole thing, so should be fun, but anyway, okay. Back to the video. So if you've watched this series on my channel before, then you know that I will bake and talk about books at the same time. So today I decided that I would talk about Rick Riordan Presents books, because if I haven't already talked about them enough on my channel, I decided to dedicate this video to it as well. So let's do this thing. I'm using a recipe from Half Baked Harvest, who is my favorite blogger. If you don't already know, I will leave the recipe linked down below if you're interested. I have all the ingredients somewhat laid out here. I only did half of them. I don't know why. If you've ever made zucchini bread before, this, like squeezing out the zucchini and then still having it be wet is so annoying. And then every time you go and touch it, it's like it all sticks to you. I can tell you right now, if this does not turn out well, I'm never making this again, because this it's it, this in itself was a pain in the ass. Also, like I said, it's still kind of wet. So I'm hoping that it turns out okay. Crossing our fingers for that. Okay, so first I need to stir in the wet ingredients. So I need the coconut oil, honey, eggs, vanilla which is the half of the ingredients that I did not plan out. So that's fun. I'm still trying to get it off my hands. That's why I'm over here. Anyway, so give me two seconds so I can do that real quick. Okay, so we've got our coconut oil that still has some little chunks in it, but we're gonna ignore that. And then we've got a half cup of honey, which is honestly probably going to be all of this honey because <laughs> if you've ever measured out honey before in any recipe, I literally use the entire bottle of honey every time I go to measure something out, and it's ridiculous. Honey is not always cheap, okay? Like, this was like more than half a bottle of honey left, and I'm using the entire thing for this. This is crazy. This better be worth it. Okay, well, while this is getting the rest of it out, let's talk about Rick Riordan Presents, shall we? So I know most of you who are watching this are probably already going to know what that is, but for those of you who maybe don't know what that is, basically Rick Riordan, who made the Percy Jackson books, created his own imprint at Disney Books, where he publishes works made by authors of color um, who write about their own like mythology, heritage mythologies, if that makes sense. So Aru Shah is all about Hindu mythology. Tristan Strong is about West African mythology and African American history, um, like folklores and fables. We've got The Storm Runner is about Maya mythology. Race to the Sun, which I haven't read yet, is about Navajo. So that kind of thing. The books are really, really good. Like even if it's not required in writing them, these books are so good and they remind me so much of Percy Jackson that I'm just obsessed with them. And the reason that I wanted to talk about these books in this video today was because I actually just finished two of them recently. Um, Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mavalia, which if you've seen my June wrap up, you all have known that. And I also recently just finished Aru Shah and the Song of Death by Roshni Chakshi, which is the second book in the Aru Shah series. And that book was freaking great. Like. If Arusha number one was great, like this one was so much better. I loved it so much. And it, it had been like literally two years since I had read Arusha. So some of it I was kind of like missing because my knowledge just wasn't there anymore. But overall I was able to understand it fine. One, two, wow. Specifically went to the store this morning for this video because I didn't think I was gonna have enough vanilla extract. Turns out we did. Okay, so I'm gonna mix these up and talk. So I think in total I've read like four 
Rick Riordan Presents books. I think I've read the two Aru Shaw books, Tristan Strong and The Storm Runner. And I've really loved all of them. Like there's, I would say probably Aru Shaw is my favorite out of all of them, just because it really, really reminds me of Rick Riordan's work and um, the Percy Jackson series. Just for some reason, the way that Roshni Chakshi has turned the Hindu mythology like world into like a tangible thing that these kids are like experiencing. It just reminds me so much of the way that Rick and crafted the Greek and Roman mythology worlds. So now I think I have to put in the zucchini, but I don't really know for sure. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna say, fuck it. Yeah. I really hope this turns out because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be so sad. And now I think we add all of the dry ingredients. Flour, almond flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. Mix until just combined. Cool. So yeah, Arusha is my favorite in the Rick Riordan Presents so far. I actually really like the Storm Runner. I think it's kind of underrated. I haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about it before and I definitely have to recommend because it's so good. Okay, so we're gonna put in almond flour. We're gonna put in regular flour. We're gonna put in cinnamon and salt. And we're gonna put in baking soda. Now we mix it up and hope to God that it works. Okay, so something that I love about every single one of the books that I've read so far from the imprint is the characters, like the main characters, are really funny. Like, yes, they're all middle grade stories, so like in some respects they're supposed to have like humor, but God, they're so funny. I love them so much. Aru in particular, as I said, I think I said before in this video, um, she's so funny. She has such a quick tongue. She's just super witty and really just out there. And Tristan has like a similar sort of humor where he kind of like cracks jokes and stuff, but he's actually like suffering from the, the grief of the loss of his best friend. Like before the story even started, his best friend died and Tristan blames himself for it. And, um, and so the, the grief and the like shame that he feels for what he believes that he did um, kind of follows him through the story and so you know that every time he's like cracking a joke or like trying to make sense of this world around him he's also suffering from that and it's kind of like a defense mechanism you know it, it's got like a much deeper layer to it which I really appreciate with the middle grade story because I as much as I love middle grade stories that are just like fun and games all the time like yay woo I also really enjoy the middle grade stories that really like talk about the issues that children like may not talk about all the time or like may not feel comfortable sharing with people. Okay, so it looks good, I guess. I was debating whether or not I wanted to fold in chocolate into it. I'm still debating. I don't know, should I? Maybe I'll do a little bit. Bouncing back on the topic of Hamilton though, <laughs> can we talk about it? Because it's so good, it, oh my God. Let me cut this chocolate and then I'll talk to you some more about it. I hope to God I'm not over mixing this. <laughs> Once I over mixed a um, banana bread loaf and it was so bad. It was just like, like it's, this still has flour everywhere, how? The banana bread loaf was really bad. It was like really tough. So I'm just really hoping that I'm not over mixing this too much. But anyway, Hamilton though. Let's talk about it for a sec because that shit is good. If you haven't watched Hamilton, listened to the music, watched the show, like just do it. Just set aside like three hours and just do it. Cause it's really good. And even if you don't like it, like I'll still appreciate that you tried watching it. If I can get my 17 year old brother who is not into anything that I'm into to listen and enjoy and be excited about Hamilton, then Hopefully you can too. <laughs> so I greased this pan earlier. Um, I'm just gonna hope that it won't stick to it. And we're just gonna try to dump this in here without breaking my arm off because it's heavy. Okay, so I poured the batter into the prepared bread pan and now we're gonna bake for 50 to 60 minutes until the center is just set. Joy. I'm gonna set it for 50, but I'm also gonna set my phone timer for like 35 and check it because apparently if the top starts browning, we need to cover it with foil so that it doesn't brown anymore. And every time I have that instruction, something in my oven always starts browning on the top. So gotta be aware of that ahead of time because I'm a professional baker here. Okay, zucchini bread is in the oven. 
so excited to taste this. Now feel free to listen to some smooth jazz as I speed up my cleaning process while we wait for the bread to come out of the oven. Okay, so after putting it in the oven, taking it out of the oven, waiting for it to cool, taking it out, putting it on a plate, cutting a slice, my mom got home, had to help her unload the groceries, waited for her to finish with the groceries, she took the dog out, now I can finally continue this video. So here's the zucchini bread, it smells really good, it didn't rise as much as I was hoping, which kind of scares me because that's what the banana bread that I made last time did and it was really tough and also I'm not sure if I overcooked it but I cooked it for like the minimum amount of time that she said to so all in all I'm just kind of frightened so we're just gonna try it. And I already cut off an end slice so I'm just gonna like break this in half and wish for the best. Ah! <laughs> It's everywhere. Not bad. <laughs> I'm actually pleasantly surprised by myself, so that's good. <laughs> I think I'd give it like a B minus. I don't know. It's not my favorite. I feel like I definitely overcooked it just a little bit, but overall it tastes pretty good. Like you can taste the cinnamon and the chocolate and you can't taste the zucchini. That's the good part about zucchini bread, which I did not expect the first time that I tried it, because with banana bread, you taste banana. But I guess because zucchini doesn't really have a flavor, it just like adds vegetables to your baked goods, which is always good. You can get your veggies in without feeling like you are. <laughs> Eat chocolate and vegetables at the same time. So if anybody's planning to make this recipe, I would recommend. And since we're at the end of this video, I don't really know if there's anything else I wanted to say about the Rick Riordan Presents books that I haven't already said in like so many videos before this. Honestly, if you know me, you know I love his writing plus his publishing imprint. So like, I don't know, there's not much more I can say. I'll just leave a list of books down below that you guys can check out if you're interested in either like starting with these books or like looking for more of them to read. They're really good. And if you enjoy middle grade books that are like funny and adventurous and like make you feel all the things, then these are definitely the ones to go for. Or maybe if you have a kid that you're trying to give like a gift to, that should be a good gift. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this giant piece that I cut off that I didn't realize was as giant as it really is and go tell my mom that she can come inside now, now that I'm done filming in the middle of the house. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. If you are interested in following me on social media, all of my links are in the description below. I can't speak, ah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you later. Goodbye. Oh, so good.